Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. According to latest reports, the Tejas Light Combat Aircraft SP-16 has completed its maiden flight today, and it flew for 31 minutes and landed back safely. The SP-16 is the 16th series production aircraft, and the SP-16 is the first aircraft to carry the wings supplied by Larsen and Tubro. Next in line is SP-15, which has been assembled at the second assembly line, and will complete its first flight by end of this month. The first Tejas squadron will have its full strength by end of 2019, and first FOC certified Tejas Mark 1 will make its maiden flight by October 2019. According to latest reports, Chinese companies are now the main overseas raw material source for the 180,000 bulletproof jacket order, after the Indian company SMPP Private Limited changed its suppliers after winning the bid in April 2018. According to reports, 40% of the jacket material comprises of fabric and boron carbide powder, and these materials are being imported from China. During the selection process, SMPP presented jackets that contained raw material from Western sources in Europe and the US, but it changed its suppliers after winning the contract. Meanwhile, the company has said that this will make no difference to the product, and it had driven down costs by going directly to the manufacturers of the material, instead of Western suppliers that were getting it from China. Even during the testing phase, 5 out of the 10 competitors had jackets with Chinese materials. Officials have said that the first batch of 10,000 jackets have been accepted, after the completion of a series of quality tests. China and Pakistan are planning to upgrade their jointly produced JF-17 fighter jet, to enhance its informatized combat capability and missile systems. The development and production of the JF-17 Block 3 is ongoing, and they are expected to be fitted with an active electronically scanned array radar system. Pakistan expects the JF-17 Block 3 to match an improved version of the F-16 fighter jet with this new upgrade. According to reports, the development and batch production for the JF-17 Block 3 are both going on simultaneously, and this means while the upgrades like the new ASA radar system are still in development, the airframe can be manufactured without waiting. According to latest reports, the RDO has successfully carried out the third test of the guided Pinaka system today, after two successful tests on the 11th of March. India successfully tested two extended-range rockets on 11th March, and the consecutive successful tests proves the reliability and high-precision capabilities of the system. The initial version of the Pinaka rocket had a range of 40 km, while the Pinaka Mark II had a range of 70 to 80 km, and now the upgraded version can use guided extended-range rockets at 90 km range. According to latest reports, Indian Air Force stations and training bases have been put on passive air defense mode, under which the authorities are well prepared to secure strategic assets and protect their personnel. The Indian Air Force headquarters has also cancelled leave permits of officials who are currently on leave, and both Indian Army and Air Force headquarters have issued classified directions to all stations, base repair depots and equipment depots, to make spare parts available at very short notice for meeting any immediate requirements. The Indian Army and Indian Air Force are also conducting mock drills. Seeking to provide protection to its fighter jets, the government has cleared the construction of around 110 hardened shelters for the Indian Air Force, at forward locations close to the borders with both China and Pakistan. The cost of the project would be more than 5,000 crore rupees, and these would be built in a phased manner at the air bases, and the shelters would allow the Air Force to keep its frontline fighter jets at forward bases. 
With the signing of the lease agreement for an Akula-class nuclear submarine worth over $3 billion, the total value of defense deals between India and Russia made in the last six months, has surpassed the value of defense deals struck between India and the US in the last one decade. India and Russia signed a deal for S-400 air defense systems, very short-range air defense systems, naval frigates, and license production of AK-203 rifles for the Indian Armed Forces. Russia provides two advantages that the US cannot provide, first is that Russia is willing to give much more technology without any hidden terms than the US, and second is that Russia gives strategic advantage as Russian President Vladimir Putin is the only leader in the world that China listens to. Around 170 military and industrial facilities have been set up in India with Russian assistance during the decades-long partnership, and Russia has offered joint ventures including research and development in disruptive technologies including hypersonic technology and artificial intelligence.